So I've started to sell, or these items have started to sell on Amazon, the ones that I picked up in that big 16 box uh, pickup, book pickup. Remember I found a bunch of them for Amazon. I actually listed a bunch, around like 40 or so. So I've sold three. This is one of them, Roadside uh, Geology, which sold for, I think it was 16 something. $16.99. So that was a nice sale. This one, Electricity and Magnetism, is an old second edition, volume two textbook uh, that sold for $16.95. So it's funny, a book like this, you wouldn't think to look up, but um, it's still selling <laughs> regularly on Amazon, especially with school going back into session over the next month, month and a half, uh, college. So uh, just because something is older doesn't necessarily mean it's not worth looking up. This was a CD I purchased um, last December at a thrift store, House Fires 2, sold for $23 and change. So it was a long tail, but I ended up making a nice profit off of this, considering I only paid probably a buck, maybe a buck and a half for it. This one I sold a couple days ago. This is all over the weekend, by the way. This is uh, it's a Monday, and um, this one sold Friday night, I think. It was... Less than 20 bucks, but it was from a huge uh, CD donation to my store. So it's been sitting for a while, but it's a nice box set. Sold for like between 15 and 20 bucks. So in all four sales on Amazon over the weekend, which is really nice for me. As I work on building back up my Amazon inventory. Here are my Amazon sales over the weekend. 15, I'm sorry, eBay sales. Um, 15 of them. 587 is the total including shipping so that's about $39 per order averaged out uh, including shipping so that's pretty good um, for yeah it's pretty good uh, what is it called uh, average sale price um, of course some are higher some are lower that's just how it is but uh, one of them just came in so um, so yeah I don't, I'm not going to ship that one today sometimes that happens Here's all the individual items that sold on eBay. I have quite a variety from Laserdisc to CD to books to DVDs, even a um, 45. That's been up for quite a while, super rare one by Hamilton Streetcar, Invisible People, and Flash. This one was a donation, believe it or not, a long time ago, a few years ago. I've been slowly selling these off, sold quite a few um, really high, high value. 45s. Um, so this one sold for 70 bucks. It's a really nice sale. Um, it's crazy. You can get that kind of money for a 45. Uh, so look out for certain ones. You know, not everyone is worth looking up, of course. And just by looking at this Hamilton streetcar, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't know it was worth money. This one I just listed this week, took an offer, didn't sell for very much. This was from the, uh, five Gaylords of CDs only. This is another CD that sold, death metal genre. It sold for twelve fifty nine. This is from a Gaylord from a couple of years ago. Unleashed by Warrior. Mad Love. It's a sealed DVD. I got eleven sixty nine plus shipping. This came from a, a bulk DVD buy. <clears throat> I would always I would look up most sealed DVDs if it's something you've it's a movie you've never not familiar with. It's not a super popular movie. Because often they can go for more money if it's sealed. This is, I don't know where this one came from. The House of Many Worlds. Sold for $18.89. Uh, science fiction. I believe it's science fiction book. Uh, a much older one. And that's been sitting for a while in my store. This is from a, a big uh, DVD buy. The Alan Bennett Collection. I listed it. Well, it's been up there since um, for a couple of months. I got this in uh, May 9th was when I made that purchase. This sold for $16 plus shipping. And then this one, Master Play, is signed. Sold for $16.39 plus shipping. Um, so a lot of these books were signed to endorse, I'm sorry, inscribed to the former owner of the bookstore where I, um, the second bookstore that I have. He had a massive collection, and I am still selling them off. It's going to take years to sell them all off. 
Uh, I sold this book here, which is a donation way back in 2022. Healthy Youth and Beauty through Color Breathing. <laughs> it's Color Breathing. 12, sold for $12.59. She had a lot of sort of funky, um, it's her mother's books, a lot of funky, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Um, health, I guess, related books. This one is Kill Allen Wrench. It's punk, heavy metal. My, you know what, is a junkie. It sold for $32 plus shipping. Um, this has been sitting for a while, but it's pretty rare. Sometimes the more rare stuff can take time to sell, depending on what it is. Then, of course, this one is a gem. Uh, if you remember from the video I made, I picked this up July 11th with about 20, it was 25 laser discs, and this is the most valuable one. It's the second one I've sold individually. Uh, this sold for $85 plus shipping. Really nice sale. So look out for this one. It's Song of the South Walt Disney, but it's in Japanese. I also sold some lots on eBay, including this Veggie Tales CD lot. I had it, um, I had seven of them up for sale, all different titles. And then I added this one. I had it going for $21.99. I added this one a couple days ago and it sold. So eight Veggie Tales CDs. Of course, these are kids. Religious themed um, CDs yeah, sold for $21.99. So it's important to lock things up if they make sense. The more, the better, basically. And I continue to sell these um, VHS and DVD lots from that massive donation I got a few months ago that I made quite a few videos about. This is another one, a baby <coughs> Einstein lot that I sold for $40. There's nine of them. So kids programming on VHS or DVDs in a lot can do really well. Remember that. If you can get them for pretty cheap, or if you happen to be um, doing free pickups, that kind of thing, definitely lot them up, and uh, you can sell a lot of them pretty quickly. This was part of a local buy I made back in May 11th. It's the first four seasons of Boston Legal and I sold it for four, I'm sorry, $19.99 plus shipping, all of the first four. Of course, if you can get the entire series, then it's going to go for more, but it's still good if you can get them in order, sequential, you know, first three, first four, first five, whatever it is, um, then you can still get some decent money for them. So I paid uh, $15 for, for a bunch of DVDs, and this was just one of them. So this alone paid for it, even though I think I'd already sold something else as part of the lot. Um, so make sure there's something in there that's going to pay for the whole lot before you make the purchase. And this is not a lot, but it was in a box, and it is a Black's Law Dictionary. This is from 1968. These sell uh, often on eBay, uh, even the older ones. Um, there's different there's different printings. But this one is the 14th printing, I believe. Um, and this was from that big 16 box. Here it is. 14th reprint, 1976. It's originally from 1968. It's the original one, which you can get, uh, or you can sell for a little bit more. But I sold this for $70, took an offer. And this came from, like I said, those 16 boxes of books that I picked up. I think it was earlier this month. I'm not 100% sure, but recently. And uh, I've started selling some stuff on there or from that, from those um, books on Amazon as well as I showed you today earlier in this video, uh, as well as on eBay. So there's some really good stuff in there, a lot of scholarly stuff. So be on the lookout for this. You know, if you see it at the thrift store, if you see it at the estate sale, the garage sale, a library book sale, anywhere else, you want to pick these up uh, unless someone's charging a lot of money for them. But if you can get them for even for 10 bucks to resell it for 70 is a great flip. Um, I would even say 20 into 70 is good. But, you know, if you're able to grab it for really cheap, uh, you know, five bucks or less, then um, then you're going to you're going to do really well on it uh, because because it sells for good money. But also it just sells it sells pretty quick. I mean, this sold. What has it been? How long did I list this ago? A few weeks ago and it sold already? So be on the lookout for these. These are these are quick sellers for good money. Uh, again, if you have the earlier version, earlier reprints, you can sell them for a little bit more. Closer to, you know, 80, 90, 100 bucks sometimes for the 1968 uh, copy. 
So there's definitely some good money in this. Just got to do your research. You got to learn about what what items actually sell well. Um, you know, what books, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out. And I am enjoying my Jaden's thermal printer. Uh, it's printing out super fast, super efficiently. I got a bunch of labels. Set it up now so it doesn't get... So it just spits it out right here. I can just rip it off and keep it moving. So now I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to pack everything up and not have to tape down all the labels. <laughs> um, I'm not actually using the packing um, packing labels either, or packing slip rather. So it's making everything go quicker when it comes to uh, shipping. This weekend was great sales for me after a slower week uh, in general. So that's really good. Hopefully things are going to pick up a bit more as we head into August which can be a different video back to school is coming up. So that's great for Amazon and eBay and should bring a lot of new sales in a lot of activity as people finish up with a lot of summer activities. You know, a lot of people start school earlier. Some start in September, but many start in, in, um, in August, whether it's, you know, whether it's elementary school and all that, or if it's, it's high school or a lot of colleges will start as well. So people will start to buy their stuff online and, just do a lot more shopping uh, online than they have been during the summer. So it should pick up some more. Keep listing. Keep listing quality stuff. And uh, you should see some good sales. See you in the next video, guys. Take care.